dear students in this section we are going to discuss one very important concept of the mechanics that is conservation of linear momentum for system of particles in this illustration we are given a man of mass small m moves on a plank of mass capital m with a constant velocity u with respect to the plank as shown in the figure in this figure you can observe this is a man of mass small m and this man is moving with respect to the plank with the velocity u in the right world direction okay and in the next part of the question it is given if the plank rest on the smooth horizontal surface that means there is no friction between the plank and ground then we need to calculate the velocity of the plank when man move right so let us analyze the situation if we take man plus plank as a system so this is our system right this is our system now analyze the system is there any external force acting on the system from external direction right is there any external force acting in our system you can observe here the internal force is acting between the man and plank because man is moving on the plank without friction man cannot move that means friction force between man and plank is internal and as we know internal force never interfere in the conservation of linear momentum principle and there is no friction between the ground and plank that means there is no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction on the system we have external force in the vertical direction that is the gravitation force that is the weight of the system and normal reaction applied by ground on the plank but there is no motion of the system part kilo system part in the vertical direction that means our analysis is restricted only in the horizontal direction so here we can confirm and we can say there is no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction that means linear momentum remain constant in the horizontal direction okay this u velocity is given with respect to the plank that means this is the velocity of the man with respect to the plank and in case of the conservation of linear momentum we need to find the velocity of the man as well as plank with respect to ground so here let us assume v1 is the velocity of the man with respect to ground and if this velocity in the rightward direction because of recoil of the plank the plank will move in the leftward direction so here we can assume the velocity of the man with respect to ground is v1 and velocity of the plank with respect to ground is v2 in the leftward direction okay so here we assume velocity v1 and v2 now we can find the velocity of the man with respect to ground because we are given the velocity this u velocity with respect to the plank so here we can write write velocity of the man velocity of the man means velocity of the man with respect to ground equal to velocity of the man with respect to plank plus velocity of the plank let us assume rightward direction as a positive direction that means any vector quantity if we are calculating we will substitute the negative sign in rightward direction we will substitute with the positive sign so this velocity velocity of the man with respect to the plank is in the rightward direction so this u that is the velocity of the man with respect to the plank is with the positive sign and velocity of the plank is in the negative direction this is v2 so here we can write u minus v2 right so this is the velocity of the man that is v1 so v1 is equal to u minus v2 okay now we have taken as we discuss the plank and man as a system and initially system our system is at rest because man initially was at rest that means the initial linear momentum of the system was zero that means it should be zero always because no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction so let us 
write the initial linear momentum that is equal to 0. The final linear momentum. Final linear momentum include the linear momentum of the man that is m multiplied by v1. It is in the rightward direction. So, this is positive and this is the linear momentum capital M multiplied by V2. It is in the negative direction. So, here we can write initial linear momentum equal to final linear momentum that is 0 equal to M multiplied by V1 minus capital M multiplied by V2. We have calculated the value of V1. This is equal to U minus V2. So, let us substitute the value of V1 in this equation. Now, we can rearrange to get the value of V2 and here V2 is equal to mu divided by a small m plus capital M. This is the velocity of recoil of this plank that is in the leftward direction. 